Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'd like to uh, acknowledge some of the people that have joined us this morning, certainly our New York State Assemblyman Phil Ramos. Uh, we have members of the Suffolk County Police Department, uh, our Deputy Commissioner of Public Safety, Tony Prudenti. Tony, come join us, please. Uh, and members of Public Safety. Also, we have from the MTA Police, Captain McKay, um, and our Commissioner of Parks, Tom Owens. Tom, please join us. Um, as the supervisor of the town of Islip, it certainly is the responsibility of those of us in government, in town government, to provide a quality of life for all our residents, 330,000 plus residents in our great town. Unfortunately, we, where we're standing here today has become a hot spot for illegal activity, and that's troubling. It's become a place that our seniors are afraid to go to, our families are afraid to come here, the business owners who were around here, and we're joined today by Delphima Palma, who's the proprietor of that wonderful bakery over there. It has negatively impacted their quality of life and the business community surrounding us here. This is why this past spring, the Town of Islip Planning and Development Department, with some funding made available from New York State Assemblyman Phil Ramos, started on some improvements of the park. New bus stop, new bus shelters, new curb cut to allow the buses to pull in uh, off Brentwood Road, stamped concrete, walkway, sidewalks, curbs that are all ADA compliant, decorative lampposts, uh, a new fence, which part of the plan is to continue the fencing around the entire perimeter of the park. The park will not be open 24-7. The park, as all of our parks in the town of Islip, will close at dusk. So, um, as I said, we've got new pathways, uh, ADA compliance, access, a grand stairway with four separate landings, and grading of the park and uh, some enhanced uh, landscaping. Just over a week ago, Suffolk County Police were called to respond to a disturbance here. And it's not the first time there have been problems here. Police officers from multiple precincts had to respond after a 911 caller reported a large group of people gathered and um, from what I've been told someone brandishing a gun. When officers arrived they found the crowd of people many of whom were blocking traffic in the street. Two police officers were injured. They were assaulted while attempting to disperse the crowd. The officers were taken to Southside and thankfully they did not have serious injuries. Four people were arrested at the scene. Today we are announcing the closure of Ross Memorial Park in order to make it safer. We're going to be starting a construction project, making improvements in the park, and adding amenities. But you can't do this piecemeal as we've tried to do over the past months. You need to clear the park, secure the park, and then come in here and do what we need to do. At this time, I would like to introduce New York State Assemblyman Phil Ramos to say a few words. Phil has been an extraordinary partner in my tenure here at the Town of Ice in five years. He has gotten us grant funding for Roberto Clemente Park. We have an incredible spray park that unfortunately because of COVID was supposed to open this year and did not, uh, but will certainly be opening in the future. But we have been able to turn that park around and make it a safe, secure environment for our residents throughout the entire town who may want to come here. And that is the plan for Ross Park. That is the plan. This will be a place that people not only want to come to, but can feel safe coming here. And I really have to say that a large part of why we're able to effectuate this today is because of our assemblymen. So Phil, if you would come share some words Thank you. with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really uh, owe a, a big dread of, uh, debt of gratitude to our town supervisor who has worked with us uh, since the time she's taken office. Today, we are here to announce uh, the project taking 
Ross Park back. And that is uh, uh, what we plan to do in a holistic manner here, working in a bipartisan way, reaching across the aisle, because uh, our town supervisor understands, as I do, that there's no Republican way to fix a car park, there's no Democratic way to feed the homeless. We just need to get it done, and that is what the public expects us to do. Not to be in perpetual arguments about ideology, but to get something done. Now, we saw the situation here where we had people who found themselves in hardship, and because of the COVID virus, the economy, the many multiple reasons, many people have found themselves homeless. I have met with a group of them, and I hear publicly offer to help them find housing and food. Whatever their situation is, we will try and help them. We can't, we won't be able to just arrest our way and just fixing up a park is not going to help that situation. We have to take a holistic approach and, and deal with it, deal with the problems. But to my friends who find themselves in that situation, uh, find themselves homeless, I will tell you that drug dealing doesn't help your situation. Prostitution doesn't help your situation. It creates more problems for you and for the community around you. And if you're willing to use a little bit of personal accountability and meet us halfway, we will help you in your homeless situation. We will help you with the food insufficiency that, that you have. And we will deal with that, uh, that problem. In addition, we have, as uh, our town supervisor uh, said, we have done some improvements here, the walkways, we've worked together with her uh, to help that. We would prefer, and I, I, I think, I don't want to speak for the town supervisor, I would prefer this bus stop not be here. I would prefer the county reroutes it somehow and puts it in another area because it's creating quality of life problems, people walking out into, uh, into the street. We need that uh, to be dealt with. So we ask our friends in the county to please help us be part of this project to take back our park and please reroute this, uh, this bus stop so that people can have a convenient place, but it doesn't uh, create a quality of life uh, problem. Today I'm here to announce that we're not just here for lip service. We're not just here to say we're shutting down a park and we're bringing down the hammer and we're bringing down the police. We're here to say that not only are we concerned about this, not only will we help the homeless, but I am investing $650,000 in this park to improve it, to put a stage here so that we can have a concert series during during the summer so that we can have a beautiful place so the working families in Brentwood and Central Isaac can come here and enjoy this park with their families in a good atmosphere. And in, in doing, approaching this in a holistic method, we help all the local businesses who have been concerned about the quality of life issues, about uh, people panhandling to their uh, and, and harassing their customers. These things can be dealt with as long as we work in a holistic manner, as our town supervisor has agreed to do. And in this bipartisan effort, we hope to see a bigger, better park, Ross Park, for our community. We hope to see a place where families will come, where culture, where arts can be projected and, and advanced. All the talent that we have in our community, we can highlight that here with a state-of-the-art stage uh, and with the, the cleanup, with the landscaping, with uh, the, the, the new uh, pavers that they're going to put down, all the, the attention we're going to uh, do this is real action for real problems. We as elected officials have an obligation to come back and address the problems, not just make speeches and, and sound bites and give lip service to the problem. So we are here with real action. We're incorporating the Suffolk County Police, who has done a wonderful job, the NTA Police, the town uh, uh, public safety, uh, our our town supervisor and my office. We are collectively working to deal with this, and today is when we start to take back Ross Park. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much, Assemblyman Ramos. And to your uh, request about the bus shelters, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, we've had many discussions with the county over the past years about relocating the bus uh, stop here. They seem to feel that it's problematic for them, but I think at the very least, in fact, I sent a letter a couple of weeks ago, I don't feel the need for three bus shelters on one side of the street and two on the other side of the street because these bus shelters are not bus shelters because more times than not, people are sitting in the shelter, the bus pulls in, the bus pulls out, the people are still in the shelter. They're obviously not using it waiting for the bus. Uh, and to that point, uh, I want to thank 
our Commissioner of Parks and the entire staff of Parks who worked so hard. We had a massive, massive cleanup here the other day. They've gotten in here, they've cut a lot of the vegetation uh, down from the lower parts of the trees so that the police, when they're trying to do their job, can at least see in here that there is a line of vision into the park. So, Tom, to, to you and all of your staff, and certainly to our public safety, to our park rangers uh, who have been vigilant in being our eyes and ears here, and I can't thank the Suffolk County Police Department and the MTA too, because this is not something that you do alone, you do it in partnership. And one more comment I'd like to make to what uh, the assemblyman said, to those who are suffering, to those who may be out of work, who may be homeless, who are, are uh, not having the uh, nourishment, the food that they need. There are so many resources available. You just need to be willing to come forward and, and let us help you. The resources are there, the money has been put in there. There have been tremendous amount of, of feeding programs. I know thousands and thousands of meals are being delivered uh, throughout the town of Islip to seniors uh, and those that are in need. You just need to let us know. So I thank you very much to all the media that came today to help get the message out that we are taking this park back for our community this will be a showplace for not only the Brentwood community, but for the entire town of Islip. And again, thank you so much, Assemblyman Phil Ramos.